He has the power. We, we have the power to influence the change. If we don't pressure any of these agencies, nothing happens. You know, it has been two days of a lot of information brainstormed. And what gives me hope is that we got to the stage of action planning, which sometimes doesn't happen because we are great talkers. My further hope is that we get beyond the action planning and just take off the planning off of it. This was the planning. It's time for action, yes? Well, to remind you that you are going to get your bag when you hand in your bag. You're also going to get your pledge form and you must read those pledge forms. Read it aloud to yourself. Can I just read one? Read it aloud to yourself. Keep it. Mean it. Stick it up in your community. Stick it up in your house. Those people who love to do computers, PowerPoint, and present at your meetings, whatever, you know? I think it's very useful. And um, I congratulate the brains behind it. And then you'll also get your evaluation form. So let me just read your pledge. It says, my pledge, I would like to live in beautiful, clean surroundings. So I pledge to participate in the Labor Day cleanup. I pledge to assist the Montego Bay Marine Park on International Coastal Cleanup Day, 20 September 2004. I pledge to start using less ladder bags. And if you come from Kingston, call it scandal bags. <laughs> I pledge to start using the Montego Bay Marine Parks, have a nice bay, environmentally friendly bags. That's the bags you're getting today. I pledge to pass on all I have learned at the Solid Waste Seminar to members of my community. I pledge to reduce, reuse, and recycle my garbage. I pledge to have a nice bay. So thank you all very much for joining us for a marathon two-day Earth Day. Um, and um, I was surprised to see this morning on the newspaper that half a billion people around the world celebrated Earth Day yesterday. And actually thousands of Jamaicans too. Jet had an excellent recycle day. Things were happening here, there, everywhere, cycles. So we weren't the only ones worrying about the state of the planet. I'm so happy that we've been able to bring all these different sectors, the private sector, the public sector, and the community people, that's the most important of all, to, to come behind the mayor. I mean, ultimately, it's his job, he's responsible, he's aware of that, he's leading the charge. He's got Western Parks and Markets, who have the hardest job in town. Um, they're trying so hard between Percy Stewart, Tracy Thomas, Dee, the other staff there. I mean, we have noticed improvements in the last couple of years. Come on, up to three years ago, retirement dump never stopped burning, right? I mean, progress is being made, but still much remains to be done. And that's what it really is all about, teamwork. It took a team to bring us all together in this room. It took years of thinking about it and weeks and months of planning. Um, but not, not just me or Marie Park, a whole steering committee of different agencies, Western Parks and Markets, Parish Council, Ridge to Reach, EDSS, NEPA, ODP, all sorts of people who came week after week to sessions planning the agenda and the participants list. Um, the presenters, all fabulous people who gave excellent presentations. Um, Dillard came all the way from NEPA and Kingston with the water quality data. Ianthi, the genius behind the policy, um, giving us the framework of what is supposed to be happening. Desmond Clark from Health, I mean, always been a um, close uh, partner with Marine Park. Dave, mobilizing all the inner city communities we, who we've worked with for many years off and on, and I hope we continue to do so. Thanks for a great turnout. And all the rich to reef communities who we've been working with for the last couple of years. Great to have you all down in the bay. From Pisgah, Makuta, Chester Castle, 
Um, it's been great working with all these community people and the action boys. So Dave, um, remember our old friend Teddy Miller, who, I don't know who he stole it from, I don't think he made it up, but he said, um, what was it? Um, Failure is an orphan and success has many parents. And I nearly died laughing when you talked about the North Gully having no paternity. I don't think we should really uh, call our stalk train a bastard, but, um, so I'm delighted now that the brother from Gully is going to um, take charge or at least try and mobilize his neighbors and see if we can um, have a success at the North Gully. If we could do that, we could solve world hunger, but let's start. Okay, what do, you had a very exciting announcement. Would you like to, some, some very good news has happened in the, while we've been in this room. Things have been happening in other places. Yeah, because the, the tourism, um, the Minister of Tourism has announced uh, a, a new fee for tourism, which will finance the, the tourism um, development plan, which is valued at $1.6 billion. Uh, it, it certainly will collect at least $2 million a year. And these are US dollars, right? Yeah, no. and certainly <laughs> um, we can, we ha we'll have enough money to clean up all of the communities and certainly um, left over. And certainly a portion of that is going to the environment. So, so it will be well for us. Thank everybody again for all their hard work. Um, we got to the presenters, the facilitators who guided us all in toward having an action plan. Our moderators, Kerry, Jonah, fantastic job. Thank you so very, very much. I am the for guiding the, the whole policy framework, um, our own staff and the volunteers at the Marine Park, half our staff are at the other end of town working with the fishermen who, by the way, send a message, please clean up your act because it's killing the fish and they're starving to death. Um, so, um, you know, that people keep blaming the fishermen because there are no fish, but um, they're only part of the problem. 90% of it's land-based sources of pollution on our means us. Um, so the rest of the staff are hard at work down there. Um, the media for their interest, the management and staff of the hotel, Holiday Inn for our gracious surroundings and good food. Um, our partners in the Great River Watershed Management Committee, my chairman, Mr. Street, and all our other watershed partners. Um, Mark Nolan and USA for, for sponsoring this seminar. Um, you know, it's not just a lot of work, it's a lot of money. <laughs> so thank you, Mark, and I hope you've got your money's worth and uh, like your bag. <laughs> that was a very nice touch which we talked him into. So now we've heard from you, your challenges, your needs, your ideas, your aspirations. We've got plans, we're gonna take action. I especially want to thank Winston. I mean you know, he came to open it. I thought he'd be gone by coffee time. I mean, bless your heart, you really stuck it out. I'm proud of you. We get it all right, and we really can have a nice